Well, hey guys, welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Hey, today I've got something I think you're going to find uh, maybe fun and interesting. Uh, for those of you who've ever uh, wanted to uh, be a homesteader and, and uh, start your own homestead on your own land, uh, but maybe you just haven't got there yet, you don't have the money, or maybe you don't have the land and you're just looking, maybe you're not sure if you have the skills and what it takes to be a homesteader. Well, I'm going to recommend this game. This is called a Ranch Simulator. And it is on Steam, and uh, you can go and get that. And it actually, I've played it now for about a week. And uh, it isn't actually a game. It is a simulator that allows you to uh, build your own homestead. Now, it comes with a kind of a backstory uh, in which you uh, inherited land from your grandfather who has passed away. His homestead is all uh, old and beat up and, and uh, pretty much not functional anymore. And so you're going to get this really rough raw land with just a few basic supplies to start out with uh, and then you're going to test your skills into how well you can develop this into a homestead again this is called a uh, ranch simulator on steam so when you first open up the game it's going to give you a choice of uh, you can choose different characters so you can go into customize character here and you can choose to play either as a male or as a female you can choose either one and you can play this as a uh, single person, or you can play this at, with your friends and family, or you can play in an online community. I'm going to be playing it as a single player, uh, and I'm going to be playing as a male because I'm a man. And uh, I, let's see, we'll just change a few things here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to change my hair to what style? Okay, I kind of like that style. I don't really like that beard goatee. Let's see what else see what we got here. That looks a little bit better. Okay, we'll keep this pretty simple. So I'm going to close that. And uh, make sure that's selected and saved. Okay, so there's my character. And then we're just going to start a, a new game. And you need to save your file, so we'll just call this Game 1. It does take a few minutes for it to set up and save your game. Got a little chicken down here laying eggs. Now, it gives you a choice of uh, going through a tutorial. I went through the tutorial the first time. Uh, it's probably good to go through it your first time so you get to understand the controls and how everything works. Uh, but after that, you don't really need to, they, to go through the tutorial again, and so I'm just going to skip that. We're going to get started here. It gives you some basic movements over here. I already know what those are, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Escape or hit Return. Close that screen down. So there's my guy right there. And uh, there's the uh, dirt road leading to Grandpa's old homestead. Now this thing on the right, if you go around here, uh, that will let you, you can see that little box right there, uh, that little shed type thing over there. We'll walk over there. These will let you uh, save the game. You can also save at your tent, which I'll show you here. Uh, just by holding E, you can save the game. So we'll go ahead and do that. You just hold it, and that'll save your game. And then over here, just outside your property, if you want to go to the auction... Uh, you can go to the livestock auction right here. It costs you $50 to get the livestock auction. So don't do that right away when you first get there. You'll do that later. But just so you know, that's what that sign is there. And then we're just going to go on and uh, at a brisk little walk here. We're going to go see what uh, Grandpa left us on this homestead. Now, you can see that the place is, it's really beautiful scenery. Uh, it's surrounded by mountains. We'll just take a look around here. Surrounded by mountains and uh, lots of pine trees. And looks like there's a sign or something over here. So let's go over here and see what this sign says. It says press E to change ranch name. Alright, so let's change the ranch name. We're going to have a ranch in our name. Uh, so what are we going to call it here? Uh, let's see, we're going to call this Lamar's Place. We'll call it Lamar's Homestead. All right, and it says except down there. All right, so there we've named our homestead. You can name yours, of course, whatever you want. We're going to call this Lamar's Homestead. And we're going to go up here. And uh, Grandpa at one time had a nice place, apparently, because he's got a few fences. Nice big old gate here. And you can see the place is surrounded by mountains, lots of trees. And you go on here. Now, this is your homestead property you'll start out with. And we'll go in this. This is, looks like a really old barn or something here. So we're going to go in here. And we'll go see what uh, 
is in this. Let's see what this is over here. And uh, it says press E to pick up. We'll wait on that a minute. We'll go over here. And uh, what's that? Oh, it looks like uh, maybe something to read it says. So it says, Hello, grandchild. If you read this letter, then you agreed to fulfill my last will and come to our family ranch. It is desolate because I did not have time and opportunity to deal with it. Come into the house. I left a few things in the attic that will help you. I believe in you, your loving grandfather. Now, in the tutorial, there is a house you can go into, uh, and that's part of the tutorial. In this, If you skip the tutorial, then you don't have that. Okay, so what do we got here? It says press to pick up. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and pick that up. And so we just click on that, and it says pick up item, hold to start placement, press to scroll, start, and do that. Okay, so we won't worry about that. So now I've got a wooden bucket. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we'll go on out here. Well, actually, I do know what we're going to do with it because you're going to need water. And it's one of the first things I want to tell you. When you get a piece of land, you're going to need water. It's the very first thing that you should consider when you get to your land because without water, you're not going to survive, your animals aren't going to survive, and your uh, ability to be successful on your homestead is going to be really limited. So we've got a, another building over here which we'll go check out. But on the other side of this uh, old house, uh, I've already got a tent set up. So that's my tent. That's my home base. And this home base also works uh, if you want to save the game and if you want to sleep uh, overnight. So I'm going to set this bucket down here. And the way you do that is you just click right click. And then you select where you want to set it. So I'm going to set that bucket right there. And then I'm going to go back around here to this uh, old house or old barn shed, whatever it is. We're going to go back in there. And then I'm going to go pick this up. And on that, we'll pick that up. We'll take this over. Now, I'm showing you this because it's the first thing you should do uh, is to get water set up. So I'm going to take this over here and right click and set that right there. Okay, so now I've got an old bucket and I've got a uh, water tank there. Looks like I've got a picnic table and I'm guessing that that's uh, some type of old stretching for hides and stuff like that maybe. Uh, and I've got a uh, chopping block. Now if you click on tab, it will show you your... Click and hold on tab. It will show you you've got hands. You've got a uh, your hands if you want to pick up stuff. Then you can also do a crowbar, and it'll put a crowbar in your hand. If you want to tear something apart, you can remove trash. Okay, and uh, we'll go over here to this old building, so I'll show you how that works. This is like an old garage uh, that Grandpa had. So we'll go in here now. Again, if you have that, if you have that, you want to be careful that you don't demolish things that you might need. So I'm going to click tab, I'm going to go back onto my hand here, and I want to open the doors. And uh, you can start out with, uh, Grandpa did leave you a UTV, uh, and it does run, uh, but doesn't have very much gas in it. And over here is a jerry can where you can get more gas, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then you've just got some trash and stuff around here. You can see how this is all kind of trashy. So if you go to that tab menu and you click on the uh, demolish, then you can get rid of this trash here. All you got to do is click on it. And it, it will demolish that trash. We'll get rid of all this old trash in here. One of the first things you want to do is kind of clean your place up a little bit. And so I'm just going to get rid of all this old trash in here. Alright, got rid of all that old trash. Now you just got a UTV in here. And then you can pick up stuff. You're going to go back to your hand menu. And you can pick up the jerry can. And you can put that into the back of this UTV by clicking right there. Shows green. And click now. You want to put that in there. We'll go back here to our tab menu. We're going to get rid of some more trash here. All this old trash. Okay, so we got this garage cleaned up. So we got to start on that. Go back to our tab menu, and we'll go back to hand. And uh, now you can use the vehicle, because you're going to want to use this vehicle to go get gas and stuff for other things. Before you do that, let's go check out what else is on the property here. We'll go out here, and uh, Grandpa did leave you a few things. Uh, let's see, over there, 
We'll go over here. And uh, on the property, there is this old windmill, which you can see there. The old windmill uh, doesn't have any blades or anything on it, but you can fix that. Uh, there's an old, really old barn out there. And there's more trash, which you can see has just been left on the yard. Uh, and there is this. Grandpa did leave you a couple of chickens. An egg basket. And in this box up here is a uh, table saw that you can use to cut lumber. So you do have a few things here to get started with. And uh, chickens are going to be one of the first animals that you probably want to add to your homestead. Uh, because uh, it takes a while for them to start uh, laying eggs. But once they start laying eggs, then you've got food for yourself. And you've got something that you can trade uh, to collect money for other items that you're going to need around your homestead. So Grandpa left you a couple of chickens and an egg basket up there. All right, and he also left you a table saw. That's what's in this right here. So we're going to pick this up, and I'll just show you. Right here, you've got a uh, table saw. You can set this up. And boom, there's your table saw. However, your table saw doesn't have any gas, so that's why we're going to need to run to town to get gas for this. And then you can pick this up, and you can move this wherever you want, which you find really handy, uh, because when you're cutting trees, it's a lot of times easier to take the table saw to the trees than it is to bring the uh, logs to the table saw. All right, so you've got a couple of chickens there. Uh, but they don't have any food and water. So one of the first things you want to do is you're going to want to get some food. And you're going to want to get some water for those chickens right away. Don't wait on that. So we're going to go back over here to the uh, garage. I'm going to take this over here. I'm going to set that up. I'm going to put this table saw over here by my tent first. Just so I have everything kind of situated. Okay, and then you're going to want to uh, go over here and get your UTV. I can tell you this UTV is hard to drive. It, you're going to struggle with it. Now, I was just going to show you this when you get started. This will help you out a lot. Uh, click Escape after you get started playing, and then go up here and click on Glossary. And uh, this will give you an overview. Now, it's a simplified overview of all the different things that you can do here. So this, this explains your, uh, your action wheel. And you have a hand, you have a trash, you can destroy items, you can hunt, you can pick up items, and you can build items. We'll get into that more. Uh, here you can switch between your camera views uh, by using the V key. Uh, you can do construction mode. You can build all kinds of things in the construction mode. Houses, sheds, dog houses, uh, windmills, all that kind of stuff you can do in construction mode. You've also got demolish mode where if you want, like I showed you, you can... Uh, take out the trash and destroy things that you don't want on your property anymore. Uh, of course, you've got your save game features. Now, you can save at the tent, or you can set up a portable bed, or you can save at those little sheds and shacks I showed you right there. Uh, this does have a day and night cycle. Uh, so at nighttime, uh, if you want to sleep, you can sleep in the tent, or you can sleep on one of the portable beds. At night, you do need to be aware there are animals. Uh, there are mostly uh, animals that are not going to harm you. Lots of deer. There are some rabbits. Uh, however, there are bears and there are uh, wolves in this game. And they generally will get you at nighttime if you're not careful. Uh, so there is a little bit of a danger aspect in this, just like there is in, if you was homesteading out in the wilderness someplace. Uh, there, you can hunt in this game if you want to hunt. You don't have to. Uh, if you want to hunt, you can collect wild game meat and you can make money from doing that. Uh, you can do meat and cheese production, you can produce sausage, you can produce cheese, uh, you can get horses at the auction, and you can raise and train horses and sell horses for a lot of money. Uh, if you want to, you can even drill an oil well on your property and produce oil from your property if you're into that sort of stuff. Animals that you can get in this game. Now, they are adding more animals. This game is ongoing production, and so they are adding more animals, but the animals that are available now, of course, you've got chickens. Uh, roosters, and if you have a rooster and chicken, of course, you can get chicks. Uh, you can get a cow, and you can milk the cow and collect the milk, and you use the milk for producing cheese. Uh, you can get pigs. You can uh, breed pigs and have piglets. Really cute. Uh, of course, you can get horses at the horse auction. You can choose different horses, and you can train the horses. Uh, you can get goats in your game. Uh, you can have bees. Here you've got uh, beehives and bees, so you can collect honey, and you can get a dog, and this is what really attracted me to this game, 
because you can get a dog and one of the first things first animals that i ever get on my homestead uh was my two dogs which i have and i've always had dogs in my homestead and you have a choice of a dachshund uh looks like a rottweiler or a german shepherd uh, and you can also get cats. Now, one thing about the cats is they're pretty much useless, just like a real cat. But they're a lot of fun. you got a choice of cats here. you got to be careful because the cats will get out and run away if you're not uh, watching. We'll get more into animals as we go along. Then in cars, you've got, uh, you can get trailers and things to go behind your cars for hauling animals. Uh, your car capacity, you've got different trucks and you can change the looks of your vehicles. You do get the UTV to start, you do get the UTV to start out with. And uh, I recommend getting a trader for that right away. And uh, if your car happens to flip, which might happen a lot in this game, uh, because you tend to wreck, you can flip the car back up. All right, so that's basic. And then you've got farming. Uh, you can, as you get more advanced, you can do uh, gardens and greenhouses. So you can set up your garden and greenhouse. And you can also do, uh, you can go and buy farming equipment like tractors, uh, lawnmowers, all kinds of different stuff for doing uh, large-scale farming. So there's a lot of potential in this game, a lot of things that you can do that I think are really cool. All right, let's get back to the game. So we'll go back to the menu, and we'll go back to uh, load our game. Okay, so uh, we've got this uh, UTV here, and we're going to go to town because we're going to need gas and some other supplies to get started here. Uh, in order to get into your car, all you need to do is uh, hit E. That'll get you inside. Then you have to hit F uh, to start the ignition. You'll hear start up. Now, I'll tell you right now, driving this UTV is a real trip. Uh, if you uh, start out, you're going to probably wreck a dozen times I did, and uh, I still do a lot. So what you're going to do is you're going to drive, kind of drive it slow. Just push on your button a little bit. And when you first get started, just kind of drive it slow. Don't go too fast. You can see I'm kind of off the road there. That's because I'm messing with other buttons here. Now, you can drive from inside the vehicle, too, which might be a little bit easier for some people. Like I said, don't, don't push too fast. Don't hold down on your drive button, whatever you do. You'll go so fast, you'll wreck in a heartbeat. Uh, but you're going to go down this dirt road that goes to your place. And then you're going to come to a blacktop road. Now... I'll show you when we get down here to the blacktop road. Uh, there is a map in here so you can find out because you're going to go down. There's a small town here uh, where you can get resupplies. And uh, you're going to want to figure out where everything is in town because you'll, you'll, go, you'll make several trips to town a day probably. Right. Here we're going a little too fast. Uh, slow down here. Now I'm going to click on M for map. There's my map and I'm going to go to the gas station over here so I can just put a, a marker right there. And then I'll be able to see that when I'm driving. Now, you also got a hardware store, the, the uh, car shop, uh, and uh, some other places, a general store. And there's your homestead down there. And Hunters, you got some other side quests here you can do. Click back off map. Now, again, just go slow here. And I'm going to turn to the left. And there you can see my little red marker. That tells me where the uh, gas station is. And we're going to go get gas because this UTV is almost on empty. And there are other vehicles on the road, but if you hit them, you don't really cause any damage. It'll just kind of stop you both. Uh, again, this isn't a, a real dangerous game to play. You're not going to get killed all the time, so don't have to worry about that. The main uh, goal here is for you to build your homestead. So there's some of the other vehicles on the road. Okay, there's the gas station. So we're going to pull into this gas station. Stop right there. Now you got to get out using the E key. Again, you're going to get out. And then you're just going to kind of wander over to this side over here, maybe if I can. And we'll look at the gas pump here. Now everything costs money, so you have to get money. Now you start out with $1,100, I think it is. Now in order to start refueling, you're going to click E. But before you do that, what you have to do, and it's a little tricky when you first get started here, see this uh, hand, this pump up here? You're going to pick up the pump, and then click right there, E to insert in car. That's what, now we got it inserted. And then you're going to go back over to the pump, and it says press E to start fueling. 
So you can press E and it'll fill that tank up all the way. You just got to let it fill, fill up. And uh, it does cost you for fuel and then it will go like that. That shows you this done. And this time I'm going to go to the back side. Now the good thing is you can really stretch this gas hose a long way. Now it says E to put in. We're going to put that in. Then you got to go back over here to the pump again. And you're going to hit press E to start fueling. And there it'll uh, add uh, gas to the jerry can. Now you're going to want that because your, uh, your uh, table saw requires gas to run. So that's why I got that table saw and the uh, gas can to bring along here. So now my, my jerry can is full. And then go back over here again. Grab that handle out of there. Take that back over here. Put that back up where it goes. And there, you got your filled up. Alright, so now you got your gas, your fuel, and uh, you're going to get back in your vehicle. And now we're going to go, it's raining. We're going to start the vehicle up and we're going to go back down the road here a bit. Whoop. Go around this guy here. Get on the road. Now you go on around this town and you'll come to a general store and you need to go to that general store because you need feed for those chickens real fast. We got gas. Now we need feed for those chickens. Get in this other drain that lane over here. And I want to go up this road here. And I believe this is the general store right here. Yeah, this is the general store. Now I'm going to stop here. Get out of the car, and you can go into the general store. Now, your general store is where you can get your feeds and stuff uh, and supplies for yourself here. So, we're going to go in this store here. And there's a lady you can talk to, but she won't say much back to you. Press E to talk. Shop assistant. Welcome to make a purchase. Use the terminal in the next room. Purchased items will be outside. For more information on livestock, view the glossary. To sell items, place them in the area next to me and confirm the sale using the terminal. All right, end conversation. Now that's the terminal over here. This is basically how you buy everything. And you're going to use E and you can go in and select what you want. Now I know the first thing that I want is I, I need food for the chickens. So we're going to go down here and here is a bag of wheat. And so we're going to add that. That's $30. And then we're also going to need a water tank. I'm going to get a water tank. Uh, and I'm going to need a... Let's see what else we're going to get here. I'm also going to need... I'm going to get an, another bucket. Just in case that bucket doesn't work. I'm going to get another bucket. And uh, you can get seeds and all that sort of stuff to start your... Uh, your gardens and stuff like that. That's corn seed. Uh, that's not feed, okay? You want to get, and then you want to get, uh, you can get like all this other stuff, pet food and all that sort of stuff. We'll get that in a little bit. Uh, but for right now, I want to get feed, and I got water bucket. What else do I want to get here? Uh, let's see, bullets I don't need. Water tank I got. Uh, I got wheat, bag of wheat to feed, feed the chickens. I've already got an egg basket, so I don't need that. Uh, and so I'm going to also get me a dog. Okay, so while I'm here at this general store, I'm also going to get me a dog. And I've got uh, a choice here. You can get a, uh, well, I think that's a Rottweiler. Or you can get a, uh, what looks like a uh, German Shepherd. Or you can get this little dachshund right here. I think this dachshund is kind of cute, so we're going to add that. And you can also get a cat. I'm going to hold off on getting a cat. Uh, you sh if you get a dog or any pet, you also want to get pet food. Down here at the bottom, you can buy a bag of pet food for $50. And you can get you need to get a bowl for their water and food. It's important that you have a bowl for them. And you want to get uh, pet collars if you want to name them. So we'll go back up here to the top. I've got that all in there. We'll go to my cart. And we'll pay for that dog. One dog. And we'll go check out. Thank you for your purchase. Now, as soon as you do that, you want to get out here to your store, and your dog is going to be out there somewhere close by. We have to find him. He should be here somewhere fairly close. We'll whistle. 
use the HP and see where that dog is. He's usually not too far away. Right there, get whistle. Now, if you do it right. Well, come here. You gotta get on him. Now, dog is following you. Okay, so now the dog will follow you wherever you go. It's getting dark, so we got to get back. Hey, you can also drive at night. It's a little bit hinky, but you can drive at night. We're going to go back to the homestead here if we can <laughs> get back on the road. Now, this tire kind of helps you out because you can find your place here. It's not too far up this road from this tower right here. You'd think I've been to the bar the way I'm driving this vehicle. Alright, shoo! We made it. There's my tent. And I'm going to sleep. And it's saving. Oh boy, that was a rough start. That was a rough start to a hard day. All right, so <clears throat> you'll come back up uh, in the daytime, and uh, you hit press 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 space bar. All right, so now I've got okay. So now I've got all these supplies in here that to uh, take care of. And in the next episode, uh, we'll show you how to set up your chicken coop and uh, set up your dog and everything like that now that dog should be around here somewhere oh he can't be too far away here don't tell me how to think don't tell me how to talk don't lay your trip on me cause you don't walk my walk